I want to start this video off by saying you cannot let anyone ever tell you I didn't love you because I'm filming this at 12 a.m. aka midnight. So if I'm a little loopy and a little off track, that's why. And joining me in this crazy adventure is Doom Guy and Master Chief. Aren't they adorable? There you go, there's your stuffed animals for today. I lost my train of thought, but it's midnight, so that's, that's expected. Okay. We're going over exponents and how you put them all together. So you guys have been learning the tools of the trade, which you should have reviewed before this. If you didn't, go back and review them again. So we've got multiplication of exponents, we have the division of exponents, we have parentheses, we have negative numbers. That includes, in this case, the exceptions, ones and zeros. Remember, ones leave you with just one of that number, so six to the first power is just six. And zeros turn everything into ones. If you didn't get that, go back and look at it from last week's Nearpod. Okay, we're going to put all those lovely things together, including coefficients. So, we're going to run into a lot of problems. I need to write that farther over. That look kind of terrifying, but they're not. I mean, they are if you try to tackle them all in one huge big step. Don't do that. But they're not so bad if we just looked at them together. Oh, let's have some fun here. Pay no attention if you can hear the man outside the door. Midnight. <gasps> I'm not the only one up. Where's my ruler? Where's my ruler? Uh, we're going to pretend it's a straight line. Hey, it's a straight line. Cool. So, first things first, PEMDAS. Always remember PEMDAS. PEMDAS is parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Always start with parentheses, whatever you do. Now, in this case, parentheses also take a straight to exponent. So, we're going to deal with this guy first. We're going to use a different color. We're going to start with this guy first. Okay. So, actually we're just, we'll do this in stages. First we're gonna start off with our parentheses. So everything else stays the same. Don't change anything. We're just gonna get rid of this. So if you recall from last week, we talked about how anything in parentheses really just becomes multiplied. So in this case, we're going to do 2 times negative 4. So we're going to have y to the negative 8th power. Okay? That turns into that. Hopefully you're tracking me. Okay, we just covered parentheses, so we don't need to do that anymore. Now we're on to exponents. So I'm going to tackle first my negative exponents. Because once I do that, then I can just multiply and divide like I would normally. So. I have a negative y, I have y to the negative 8th on the bottom, which if you watched last week's videos means I flip it to the top, anything that's negative ends up getting flipped, so now I have y to the 8th power, and now I have x to the negative 6th, same works the same if it's on top, it just gets flipped to the bottom, um, again, watch last week's video on negative exponents if you didn't get that one, or come to office hours and I can explain it to you. So, this guy goes up, this guy goes down, so we have x to the 6th power. Now, I can multiply and divide how I want to, okay? So, we're going to shorten that arrow, we're going to come around here, because I need lots of space. This is a great way to make yourself look super smart to your younger siblings. You're like, hey, look at my work, look at all that math, and they'd be like, whoa, math is so hard! You'd be like, it is, but I'm a genius. Just keep that in mind. At least that's why I do with my siblings. I'm still the genius. They still have no idea what they're doing. Okay, first things first, let's multiply. So I have two that I can multiply. That would be my y's. Okay, leave the x's alone for now. If you really get it, feel free to go through and not chunks. If you don't get it, chunk it. Tiny pieces, like we're doing right here. 
this is our next chunk. So remember, multiplication, you can basically just add the exponents because I have two y's and eight y's, which gives me a total of 10 y's. Okay, I've done multiplication. So my next step is division. If you're wondering about the coefficients, I haven't forgotten them, I'm getting to them. Okay, now, if you guys remember from last time, I have six exponents, six x's on the bottom, four on top, which means I just subtract my two exponents, okay? Just subtract. So, I have more x's on bottom, which means I'm going to end up with an x on bottom. No x's on top. So if you need to see that on your own paper, expand that out and cross them out, and you'll notice that you end up with two x's on the bottom. Okay, last but not least, we have now dealt with all my exponents. Y and x cannot be simplified any farther. I don't need that. Is there anything I can multiply? No. So my last one here is division. I'm going to take care of my coefficients. So, just like you normally would, what is 12 divided by 6? My door explorer moment. If you said two, you're correct. This is two. Two goes on top. Now, if this was reversed and it was six over 12, two would have gone on bottom. Same idea with the exponent. Bigger number dictates where the number's gonna end up. And that, my friends, is your answer. Again, if you chunk it like this, show your younger siblings, scare them. But in reality, you know, it's pretty easy. We're going to do one more of these. We're going to make it up at the top of our heads. Just to show you how this works. Not everyone has the same method. Sometimes you'll have one that doesn't have parentheses first. Sometimes you'll have one that doesn't have any negative exponents. Maybe they don't have any coefficients. It's really, you know the tools now, you get to use them in whatever order you want. So let's see if we can change up this, this problem a little bit. Let's do this. And you think the security forces is fucking the army of people that they hate this Actually, I have a better idea. This has become a common confusion with people, so we will add that in there. Look at PEMDAS again. Got to hold my whiteboard. It's not secured on the bottom. Do I have any parentheses? The answer is no. No, I do not have any parentheses. Okay. Do I have exponents? Yes, I do have exponents. So I need to apply a couple rules. So, generally, I like to do multiplication first, but if you like to do division first, go for it. I'm going to do multiplication. So I have two things I can multiply. I have an x here, should be an arrow, and I have an x there. I'm going to multiply those two. So I have two x's here, ten x's over here, which gives me how many x's? Hopefully you said twelve. If you didn't, I'm a little worried for you. Okay, now here is a common mistake I've been seeing. I addressed it in one of my videos, but I'm going to address it again because it's very important y and x, these two right here, they're not connected. I mean, they are multiplied, but that's about it. That's where their connectedness ends. y is not to the 12th power, only x. Okay? Now, if I had given you this, it's a parenthesis situation going on. So the 12 extends to both x and the y. But there is no parentheses here. That doesn't have to be done. The 12 is only applied to my x, the y just happens to be tagging on for fun. But there is only one y here. Okay? Now in this case, like I said, everyone's different. We have two divisions we have to do. We have a y division, and we have an x division. So we're going to start with y. Okay? I have two y's on top, one y on bottom. When we cancel those out, we're left with one oh, pink. We're left with one y on top. So I have x to the twelfth. 
a single y and x to the 12. Now maybe you guess the next part. Now, ugh, I'll pick up my pink marker. It's too late in the day to be bending over. Okay. I have 12 x's on top and 12 x's on bottom. If I was to expand that out and cross them all out, how many x's would I be left with? Pause the video, think about it, work it out in your paper. The answer is I have zero, right? I have x to the zero with power and nothing left on bottom. Now, you say, where'd that one come from on the bottom? Okay, well, technically, I have this situation on top and bottom, right? I got rid of all the x's. What is a base, number or variable, raised to the zeroth power? We talked about this at the beginning. We talked about it last week. Anything raised to the zeroth power is one. That's all it is. Because when I cancel all these out, I'm left with one. One times one times one times one times one times one, 12 times, right? And one times itself, 12 times, is still just one. So really, these guys go away. Anything times one, <laughs> sorry, is itself. <laughs> I was no sun out, I swear. It's completely dark. It's midnight. I'm still sneezing. The answer is 5y. This is the part of math that I absolutely adore, is simplifying. Because you take something that looks horrible like this, and you reduce it to something that is so pretty. I love that about math. It's probably one of my favorite things. Math is like a puzzle. Start out's complicated, it's a hundred bazillion pieces, and comes together to make a nice art. Now, you may not think that's art. That's fine. I get it. I don't expect you to. But, this is so much easier to work with than this. And that's what I love about math. Okay, I'm going to say this on two more slides, but just in case you decide not to watch three of those slides, or you don't watch the video, so you have to read the slides. I've been hearing from a lot of you that you guys are overwhelmed with the amount of work you're getting, and I apologize if that's my class. Um, so, in addition to getting Wednesdays off, which hopefully you got an email about, I'm going to give you this week. So you have this in your pond to do. You have 30 project questions. That's basically going to give you this exact same thing. It's just going to randomize the rules that it wants you to apply. So it might be division and negatives. It might be parentheses, multiplications, and division. It really depends. It's completely random. You're going to do 30 project questions like that. And when you're done, you're done. That's it for the whole week. Okay? It should at maximum take up three days. Max. But let's be honest, this Nearpod is pretty quick and easy, and this video is turning out to be like 15 minutes long. You could do this in an hour. I don't want to take a lot of time. It shouldn't take a lot of time. Okay? Uh, two hours maximum throughout your entire week. Don't let it take more than that. If you're having trouble, come hit me up. I will be on Teams in 10 hours. That's really depressing. I'll be on Teams in 10 hours, okay? Come talk to me. I'm there. I'm supposed to be here to help you. I have a lovely little whiteboard set up. I'll assist. Okay? Don't get overwhelmed. Don't get behind. Please ask if you have any problems because it's just going to spiral down here from here. Believe it or not, exponents is the first thing we're doing, and we're just going to add things onto this for the rest of the year. Please ask me if you have any questions. I don't want you to get lost right now. But I digress. So, this should be a nice easy week for you. Get all caught up on my class and other classes. And say goodbye to Doom Guy and Halo Guy. Master Chief. His name is not Halo Guy. I know what I'm talking about. Goodbye. Hold on one hand, I can do it. <laughs>